talking about the jelly ear. They look a bit like ears. Um, they're very jelly-like and they're relatively easy to identify, especially if you're a beginner um, wanting to eat mushrooms or try foraging and identifying mushrooms uh, in general. Yeah, so I'm sitting next to a log of um, dead, I think this is Acer, so sycamore. Um, they grow on sycamore, but they're kind of renowned for growing on elder. Um, sometimes people call them elder ears as well. Um, and yeah, you can find them all year round. They're most visible after quite heavy rain or some, some weeks of heavy rain. And um, they are very jelly to touch. <laughs> the top texture is quite velvety and the bottom is, is almost, it, it looks very much like the inside of an ear and it, it's kind of, um, I don't know what you would call it, like a pale brown color. And um, you can use these in um, lots of different ways. I'll put some resources down below so you can have a look. Um, but I tend to dry these and then either use them in stir fries um, or yeah, just soups, for example. And mushrooms are really medicinal, so uh, they're quite good for your immune system. And um, yeah, the only one that looks vaguely like it. Um, would be growing on the ground so jelly ears are jelly ears when they're growing on wood so don't pick anything that's growing on the ground that looks similar um, and obviously disclaimer never pick anything or eat anything that you don't know um, stay safe and have a fun time with your jelly ears